So, hi guys, we're gonna start with a few breaths up, big breathing up, move this. And take an inhale, can you see me? Yeah. And exhale, Whew. and inhale, and exhale, and breathe in, and down, and up. Now just kind of make sure that your feet are in a good place for knee alignment, and we're gonna continue with the second position squat. Your arms can pull down every time your glutes come down. Your knees are tracking with that second toe. And five, and six. You wanna feel your heels are heavier than your toes. Nine. Now stay in a low place that's good for you and add a, a little bounce for 10 reps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let your hands hold on, drop a shoulder, and drop the other. We're gonna wake up the back four more times like that. Four, three, two. Now you're gonna go in the center and come up, roll up. Let the feet come in closer and then go up with your arms and heels, then open your arms and go up with your arms and heels. Now go forward, calf raise forward, calf raise arms wide, calf raise forward, calf raise wide. We're waking up the ankles, the knees are soft, breathe in and out. Now we're gonna add on. So we're gonna take the right leg across the body. Now stay 10 times, you're trying to balance on one hip, four, lifting up five with the other, six, seven, eight, good morning everyone, nine, now the other foot, so this foot comes down, this one's going to cross your midline, add a little point, you're reaching through your toes, your neck is soft even though you're lifting your arms, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now out to the side. So this is degage. Keep going. I'm going to tilt this up a little so you can see. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now arms front out to the side. Degage or bolt mold. So big kick if your legs warmed up. Four, five, Six, standing tall. Seven, building glute strength. Eight, nine, ten. Now, five circles. So, what this is is dynamic balance. Your arms could stay still if you need them, out here if you need them, or they can move. Five the other way. Keep that foot off the floor as a challenge. Four, three, two, let that foot come down. Let's go to the other one. Five, four, three, two. Bigger is going to be harder. Go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hands touch base at that lower spine so they can interlace. Lift your right leg behind you. Now you're going to try 10, 10 leg lifts while balancing. After the 10th one, hold it up there. Hold 10, 5, 2, and then come back down. We're going to do the other side. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, hinge. Now 10 leg lifts. 10, whoops, 9, Eight, I had to regain my balance. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it up there. Ten, four, inhale, and then exhale and come back down. Now, this is a single balance pose, right foot in tree pose. Lift your arms. Try five, exhale, lower. You're gonna to try to stay balanced while you lift your arms. Four, three, two. Now on the last one, let your hands come to your heart. Now stay here, and if you'd like to add on, rotate. You're gonna rotate away from your knee. 
Breathe in. Face front. Whoa, and lower your foot. Good job. Lift and spread your toes. Other side. Foot up. Once you're in your tree, five. And exhale. You can even clap behind you and overhead. Two. Now your hands are going to go to the heart. You got it, Cheryl. Now you're going to rotate away from your knee. Shoulders soft. Ten. Breathe in. Exhale. Face front. And lower that down. Gorgeous. Now this is going to be to the side. You might imagine a starfish. You're going to lift up. Now arms is, uh, if you lift your arms as well, it's going to be a little harder. So you can take that challenge. Five, six. Feel that waist. Feel your obliques. We're going to take 10 on the other side. So lower that working leg and then lift up the other one. 10, nine, feel your abs. Eight, feel your hip. Feel this glute. Six higher if you'd like more challenge. Seven, eight, nine. You got it. Now grab a sip. We're going to meet in down dog. So if you need to adjust your camera, you can. We're going to meet in a down dog. And you're welcome to walk the dog while you're there. In other words, bend one knee and bend the other. So I'm going to tilt you down my screen that is, and I'm going to meet you in down dog. That calf, you should feel your calves here. Um, one can be at a time. <sighs> Let everything go. Now both heels lift and lower. And then we're going to lift your heels and we're going to go into an up dog. Inhale. And then tuck the chin and down dog. Now lift your heels. Up dog. And exhale, tuck. Bend again, and tuck, and lift, and tuck, and lift, and tuck. Hold, five, down dog, four, inhale, and you can take a child's pose for a moment. If your knees don't like to bend like that, just do puppy dog pose, inhale. Now let your forearms come to the mat and take a down, uh, excuse me, a plank for 10. Breathe in. And on the exhale, we're gonna lower and take a side plank on 10 counts. So hold. And then lower and then do the other. So side plank. 10, breathe in, and exhale, lower. Now the other reverse plank is the backwards plank. You can also do the suspend knees for reverse table if you need a modification, or if your wrists don't want to, you can go to forward plank on your elbows. Otherwise, hold, eight plank, 10. And then lower your hips and take your feet together and hinge a bound angle. Let your neck soften. Breathe in. And then come back to your forearm planks. Now, with your elbows underneath your shoulders, Go to four plank, and then you're going to lift your hips like an upside down V, and then you're going to come into a plank, and then we're going to lift the hips upside down V, and then come into a plank, and lift, and plank, and lift, and plank, 
and lift and plank and lift and take two more one now let your pelvis down at this moment you're in a sphinx if you would like to make this a little bit more you can put your hands down and lift up into a swan good neck is easy breathe in lower your upper back now lift up both legs lower your legs and lift up your upper back you can use your hands lower your back and lift up your legs lift up your upper back lift up your legs your upper back and your legs now hold the upper back up and it's going to be about 10 so just make sure that your neck is easy your elbows are pointing down Breathe in and then relax. Your arms can go underneath your forehead and lift up one leg and then lift up the other. Lift up one leg and then the other. Lift up one leg and the other. Up, up. Now, if you'd like to add on, lift both legs up and then continue to flutter kick. Relax your neck, 20. Relax the feet down and we're going to push back into a child pose and if you want to curl your toes under it's a nice little foot stretch five. And then go back into your forearm plank and let your legs be long and hold if you would like to add on push forward through your toes and then drop back through your heels. You're going forward and back a couple of inches. It's not a big move. Keep pulling your belly in. And then let's go to the side plank. And you're going to put your hand at your head like you have a triangle. And you're going to rotate and rotate. Lower that hip. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> and up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Looking good. Take a breather. We're going to use our abs to roll down for a moment. Inhale. And let's take about 10 counts. Good. Nice. Now, once you're there, your right ankle can go to your left thigh. Your hands can reach through your window and rock a bit. This is a great place to add on ankle rolls if you would like. Breathe in and out. Five, four, three, two, inhale. And then exhale and take it to the other side. Reach your hands through your window. And if you want to rock and roll, you can. You can roll your ankle.
fingertip release. Take another inhale. And as you're ready, hug both legs in just for a moment here. You can move your feet and ankles. And then your hands come behind your head. Lift up your shoulder blades and take yogic bicycle. Rotate your torso as you stretch out a leg. You can reach through your toes, pointing. If you look at your belly, or when you look at your belly, you'll see the exhale pulls your belly in. Now we're going to pull our toes back here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Recover. Now you can hug the legs in and rock a bit. Now lengthen your right leg up. And if you can grab your toe, go for it. If not, just hold on to your thigh or your calf. Extend your left leg. Left hand can come behind your head and you can come up in an ab crunch. Or you can put your left hand down on your left thigh. This is holding on to the big toe pose. It's an abdominal crunch and it's a hamstring stretch. Hold 10 more. Three to the backside ribs. And now relax. This left hand goes to your left toes or toe. Your right leg stretches out. Now, if you need a modification for your neck, your right hand can go behind your skull. Good. Breathe. Belly in. Good. You've got a strong grip here. Good. Inhale. And relax, happy baby, both hands to the feet and the knees pull down. And then let your feet go on the floor and curl your spine up and down. And think about, um, I'm trying to warm up or wake up each part of my back, especially if your low back is kind of lordotic or, or swayed. This is a great place to really get some movement in that low back. See if you can feel each vertebra. Now hold at the top and if you would like to add on you can interlace your fingers underneath your back and kind of uh, open up the shoulders more here. Breathe in and you can close your eyes and breathe here. 10, 7, 5, 2, breathe in, relax your hands out of there, uh, the shoulders, and lift up the right leg and point it to the sky and hold for 10, 5, Lower that right foot down. Lift up your left leg and point it towards the sky. 10. Lower your left foot, inhale. And then lower down. And then take your left leg long and take your right knee over. And the right arm can do some circles to wake up the shoulder even more or to get it in a um, mobile flexibility, dynamic flexibility. Let that arm stay open, palm up when you find a good place. And hold. And then let's take it to the other side. Let your leg go long and take your knee down twist. Your arm can do some circles. You can 
Mute that arm out. And now slowly come back and you can hug the legs into your belly and just kind of release any tension, maybe with a rock right and left or a hug circle. And then we're gonna roll onto your belly, although if you would like a sip in the meantime, do that and then grab a sip here. With the belly down position, the Shalavasana pose, we're going to take the hands around the hip bones, but they're hovering above the floor. So you're going to lift up your upper back. Check your neck. You're probably looking down towards the mat here. Lift up the legs if you'd like, and let your inhale lift you higher. Now relax for a moment, and if you want, you can even windshield wipe your knees. You're just going to relax the knees here. Now interlace the fingers at the low back, and we're going to inhale and go up with this hand position. If it's not good for you, then link your hands by your side like last pose. Breathe in. And relax. Now we're going to switch which hands on the outside. So right now my right pinky's on the outside. So now my left pinky's going to be go up. And relax now. Bend one knee and hold on to your foot or ankle. This is going to be a Dhanurasana bow pose, but if the other foot won't come easily, just do it one side each. So get ready. We're going to come up one or two feet and lift. Good. You will move a little bit with your breathing. Relax. We're going to do that again. Inhale and come up. And relax. And child pose. You can do this knee wide if you want to add a little diaphragmatic breath emphasis. Let your butt and it drops your chest a little bit. And then come up to side plank. Now you can do side plank on your forearm or your hand. I'm going to turn it into Maldrasana. So you choose. If you do, that's a half sphere. So side plank plus a foot back and then lift is Maldrasana. If that's not for you, do the side plank on your forearm. Ten. Breathe in. Now lower your hip and then we're going to do the other side, either your side plank forearm or your side plank hand. Um, you can also put the foot back, which is Maldrasana. Oh, I love this pose. Ten, it's opening. Nine, go ahead. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and then lower your hip. Really good. Now take the legs out like a V. Take the hand, so let's say left hand to right leg, and then the other arm goes up and over. Breathe in. Breathe in, come up, now opposite, so your hand, let's say right hand goes to your left thigh and your left arm goes up. Either, either way you do it's fine, we're going to do both sides every time anyway, right? Breathe in to this rib cage that's getting stretched, exposed to the sky. Any kind of rotation, you'll find different angles, it looks great, sure. Nice, Jean. And then inhale and come up and we're going to go right down the middle. Now you can do hands on thighs or hands on floor. Just see and, and relax your neck. And then come back up. And if you would like to sit, grab it. We're going to take a squat pose. Um, low squat, Maldasana uh, here. Mm -hmm. Not the chair squat, Katasana. So if you would like, your hands can come in the middle. And you can lower them, lower them, lower them until you feel a stretch. So for me, the palms are separated when I feel it. But it, you might feel it differently. Everyone looks good, really good. Neck is soft. We're going to do negotiating cowgirl where you just open up one hip a little bit more. So you kind of push that away. There's a little opening here. This lower soleus gets a bit more stretch too. Good. Push open that knee. Now push open your other knee so your hand kind of opens that hip. Do good. Great. Yep. Nice job. And then we're going to put one shin under. So I'm going to turn so you can see me. One shin's under and one foot still on the floor. Now lean forward for more intensity. Lean forward. And then take that one down and do the other one. Forward. Breathe in, and then as you're ready, we're going to put your hands down and do a downward dog. So stretch out those legs behind you, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Both heels can lift, both heels can lower. And then leave the heels down. 
And then look up at your hands and take a step or a jump up there and do halfway up. Now, once your blood pressure adjusts, we're going to go up into standing. So go up. I'm going to tilt this back again. Just go up and inhale. Good. That's it. Inhale. Now you're up. And now go over. This is half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. If you would like to add on a variation, you could put a hand down and cross your foot. And of course, you can rotate. Breathe in. And come up and over. Good. Breathe in. We're going to take another inhale and come up. Both feet are underneath. Now open the arms and open the feet. Five pointed star. Exhale, forward fold, and let your hands at first go to your ankles and hold. Now put your hands underneath your shoulders and pull, hold. If you'd like to add on, interlace your fingers and take them over your back and pull. And then hands come down, walk over to your right leg, keep the knees fairly low, pull. Breathe in. Walk over to your other leg and hold. And then you're going to put your hands down and bend one knee and then bend the other. Now, you don't have to go low. If you feel like you can and you want to, you can. And inhale. Good. And inhale. You're at your own pace, feeling inner thighs, ankles, lower legs. You can hold a side either at 90 degrees or down low or just find a place. Good, left to right here. Breathe in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Inhale. And as you exhale, go to the other side. You're down. You're wrapping. Mm -hmm. Or if you'd like, yeah, great. Great, guys. Breathe in. Inhale. And then let your hands help you up. And we're going to push our, or excuse me, walk our hands out to in a hammock pose. Your feet are still wide and your hands are kind of uh, more in front, like you're in a down dog plus wide legs. Hold. Now you can lift up your heels and pass through plank and do an up dog here if you'd like, or you can just stay in hammock. Lift up. And exhale. Good. And inhale. Oh, nice. There you go. Good job. And up. Inhale. It's like your breathing pattern will dictate your movements. And exhale. Now walk your hands in close. Walk your hands up to your hips and come up halfway. And then as your blood pressure is adjusted, go into a bigger back bend. Open up your arms. And if your feet have slid out, Welcome back in. 
lift and spread your right toes towards the direction of the right wall that your right fingers are facing. Reach out. We're going to take a triangle pose. You could leave your left arm up to vertical, or if you'd like a little deeper side stretch, go over your ear with your arm. Breathe in. Good. Inhale, come back up, and you're strong. Now pick up the left toes, face them the same way your left fingers are facing. Reach out, and hand down. Now your right hand can stay up, or if you would like more increased uh, lat stretch, side stretch, reach that arm over. Ooh, that looks good. Go ahead. The Tita Trikonasana is triangle. You can tell by our legs how we look like a triangle. Keep breathing. Keep reaching, keep stretching, keep opening. Breathe in. This top arm is going to help you come up. Five pointed star, walk or jump back in, hands together at the heart. Ah, gorgeous. Grab a sip if you'd like. We're going to come back into a warrior two. Open up your arms and lift and spread your right toes. Open up. Now, the right knee is going to be probably 90 degrees or in that area. Your palms can face up like you have a marshmallow in each hand or a soft flower. Now, just look over that right hand and hold. This is the warrior two pose here of Drasana. Breathe in. Let your forearm come down. Let your left arm go over and hold. Now, if you want to put your hand down, so um, Jean, your right knee is going to bend 90 degrees. Yep, and then put your arm on that thigh. You got it. Now, some of you might want your hand on the floor or a yoga block. That's okay too. You might even wrap your other hand behind you. Just explore. Good, Betty, that's it. Make sure your neck feels good. It doesn't have to look up if that doesn't serve you. Breathe in. Now exhale, power yourself up. Keep your legs and let your left hand go back towards your left thigh, but keep your right leg bent. Good. Yep, there you go. Good. And you're never pressing on the knee itself. You're either below or above it, or you're just softly resting your hand on your skin. Now come back, straighten, pick up your other toes and bend them, bend the knee to 90. Palms up. Warrior two, you can look over that hand. And breathe. The elbow can touch the thigh. The other arm can go over. And if you wanted to go lower, you can. Experiment with your arm. See what you need. That clicks on this form your arm or we're opening up your rib cage. You're going to take another inhale. 
And exhale, power up. Keep that front knee, the left leg in this case, 90 degrees ish while you go backwards. Breathe in, up and over. Breathe in, come back up, <clears throat> straighten. One more time, go down. Prasarita Paratarasana, five, four, two, and then bring your hands up to your hip bones, come up halfway. Once you feel a steady alignment, go up. Neutral, hands to hip heart. Feet together. Now right foot forward, left foot back. Let your hands interlace, or if they don't interlace, then you can hold on to your elbows or namaste reverse is another pyramid pose. Hinge forward. Take your inhale and come up, and even add a little back bend here. Breathe in, hands together at your heart, feet together. <clears throat> Step back, other foot. Interlace the fingers or hold onto your elbows or inhale and exhale forward. Pyramid pose is Parsvottanasana. Breathe in, and then push up, and even beyond a back uh, neutral into a back bend. Inhale, exhale. Your hands come together. Step together. Samasitihi. Beautiful. This next one is quadricep into natrajasana. So the first part is to go up with your arm. Your hand holds onto your foot or ankle, and you're gonna gently pull your ribs down with your abs and your pubic bone up. Hold. Now you can stay here or you can add on the dancer. Take your inhale, gracefully come back up, hands to your heart, feet down, samasthitihi. <sighs> Lift up the other arm, hand to your foot. Your other arm comes out like you're holding a butterfly, palm up, rib down, pubic bone up. If you'd like to add on, push your foot into your hand.
breathe in. And then exhale to gently come back when you're ready. You guys are doing great. I'm gonna um, have us tilt the screen, or I'm gonna tilt the screen. Grab a set and then lead in down dog. You're doing great. And in down dog, you can walk it out. Mm -hmm. So you can even lift the arms to get there and then lower and down dog. Shake out any tension. Now inhale the right leg up to three-legged dog and put the right leg in front. Now, um, I'm looking, this is pigeon. So your hands are here. If you do not like pigeon, you can also take a lying down figure four. Karen, you're good. Your back hip flexor will get a stretch um, and you can go forward if you would like. Your arms can double up as much as you need for the hip flexor. So, um, for the uh, neck, excuse me. Yep. You're good. Yeah. Yep. I know. And I think that's just great. Yeah. Yep. Your foot's kind of straight back for you. That's right. The neck looks good to me too. Mm -hmm. Good. So you want your right knee to be safe and that would be the first position. And if you're able to your left foot's in your left hip but you don't worry about it if it's not so i like your position yeah now i like to wiggle a little right and left when i'm down there if you feel a little hip opener while you do that great Five, four three two now you can walk your way back up and your hands are Helping you just like swan. Breathe in. Curl your back toes under and lift up your back knee. And then shift your weight back and walk it out. Do you feel one leg's a little different than the other? It's opened up. Inhale your left leg up towards the sky and then exhale it forward. The other leg goes back. Inhale and act like you're lengthening your spine as you come down and then rest your arms underneath your forehead like a pillow. Now, if you're flexible enough and you don't need your arms, you could rest your forehead on the floor. That's good too. We're going to gently push our way back up into, it looks like swan, but with a leg back. Inhale. Curl your back toes under and lift your knee. And then shift back. Both knees come down. And I'm going to turn because it's easier to keep my knees on the, on the mat. And then your frog posture is toes towards each other, knees wide, and then rest down. Uh -huh. And this is also a low back decompression.
And then when you're ready, gently come back up. And you can even just take a child pose, press your hips back for a moment. And then have a seat any way that you want. Crisscross applesauce is fine. Go up and rotate. Now, um, if your ankles need more cushion, just use a blanket or double your mat and otherwise look over. Open up your arms. Exhale at rotation. Gently come up and over. Now in this one, if your hand feels better on the floor, you can do that. Or you can keep it crossed. Breathe in. Either cross your arm or down. Lengthen through that elbow. Breathe in, come up, and you're going to do the rack. So you can sit however you want with your legs. We're going to go up, up, and left. Your elbows are soft, your heart lifts. You can stretch out your legs too. You can sit however you want. The chest and shoulders are our focus. Breathe in. Come back. And you can sit any way you want. Open up. We've been working on shoulder um, flexibility, mobility. So this is cow face. You can sit. That's it, Karen. That's going to be easier for your spine. Breathe in. And then switch it up. Shoulder flexibility, cow face. Breathe. And then palms together is the other one we've been working on together behind you. So work the fingers up and hold. Good. Lift up. And Release that and take your ear to shoulder. And if you want, you can hold your arm down in one hand to the head. We're going to be changing this just an inch. So act like you're smelling a flower or looking down at your pocket. Go down in the center. Both hands can help. Chin in the middle. Go diagonal towards the other. Here to shoulder. You can always hold a place longer. And it feels so good, doesn't it? And then a little left and right. You can just release any tension. And then just let yourself come into a relaxing spinal length. Now we'll do hands on the heart. 
notice how your body feels having been relieved of its tensions. Feel that sense of strength. Feel that sense of calm. You can follow your breathing or follow the chimes you hear. And when you breathe in, fill in replenishment, rejuvenation, recalibration to you with your inner you, you with your calm, peaceful, high wellness self. And we're going to let that be our intention today. My intention is to stay connected to this inner self, which is calm, peaceful, strong, stable, intuitive, clear, focused. And if you feel like you wobble just a little bit, because we're still human, we're going to bring it back to alignment as soon as we catch it, without judgment, with loving adoration, knowing that we're doing the best we can, bringing it back into calm, peaceful, strong, intuitive, creative alignment. With so much appreciation. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye guys. Good to see you again. Everyone looks so good. Bye.